I am Dr. Yin Tong Wong. I'm a professor of horticulture at the Texas A&M University in the Department of Horticulture. I work off campus at the West Local Research Center uh, in the very southern tip of Texas. Um, when I started my career, I was working on tropical foliage plants and woody ornamental plants. It's not until 1990 that uh, I started uh, uh, my research on orchids, gradually shifting uh, all of my research efforts in, uh, strictly uh, onto orchids. Um, in 1990, I had a trip to Taiwan uh, in Hong Kong to attend a conference. And back then, I saw there was a tremendous uh, uh, increase in phenolophic production in Taiwan and the Orient. Um, the consumption, local consumption, could not uh, absorb all the plants they produced, so I figured uh, they must uh, ship their plants outside of the region uh, to Europe and to the United States. So I look into my crystal ball, I could see there's uh, going to be a uh, potted phenolophic industry starting in the United States. When I came back, I searched the literature. I could not find much of information um, that geared towards the production of polyphenolopsis in the United States to help our domestic growers. So that was when I started uh, <coughs> to initiate a research program on uh, polyphenolopsis orchids. Um, funding was difficult, uh, but I figured you know, sooner or later our uh, growers would need such information, so I gradually shifted my research focus onto this area. Now initially, um, we did uh, some basic work uh, to develop uh, more modern, more water absorptive media uh, for our growers because in the Orient, the media they use for growing phenolopsis is not what we were going to use here uh, because of different nature, different climate and uh, also the uh, traditional materials we used by the orchid industry in the United States. Well, over the years, we have also worked on uh, nutrition and uh, how salt salinity affect the plant growth and flowering. And uh, we also worked on certain physiological response of uh, phalaenopsis. Um, we developed a lot of information for our domestic growers, although um, many of the information uh, has also been used by uh, growers overseas. Um, in the mid-90s, we saw there was a need to um, control the flowering of phalaenopsis more precisely or uh, to extend the flowering season from early spring way into the summer to accommodate for increased needs for off-season flowering. So we started working in this area and um, after four or five years of research, we developed a way to um, defer spiking and flowering until later in the year. Uh, the reason for that is the Mother's Day and Father's Day uh, have become increasingly more important holidays for the potted orchid market. and. Uh, the traditional way to defer flowering was to heat the greenhouses to uh, at or above 82 degrees Fahrenheit, and that can be very expensive. So for oil prices high as now, uh, growers must find alternative ways to defer flowering so the cost of production would not go uh, uh, skyrocketing. So we have been very successful with developing a technique to achieve these goals. So. These days, the information we uh, generate at Texas A&M uh, have, have been used by growers worldwide, not just in the United States. Uh, for example, um, I've been contacted by growers in Mexico, in China, in Japan, Korea, uh, South America countries, and, and European countries too. Uh, yesterday, I received an email from Venezuela and also an email from Czechoslovakia in Europe. And uh, these were two people who told me that uh, they wanted to start uh, uh, potted uh, phenolopsis business uh, for profit. But uh, uh, guess what? They found us in the United States to help them. 